What's My Line? Deck. And now let's all play What's My Line? From New York, let's meet our What's My Line panel. First, our publisher panelist, the head man of Random House, Mr. Bennett Cerf. I'm sitting over here tonight to introduce an old friend of mine, a darling little girl that we smuggled in from California for this evening's performance. Uh, was the star, I think, of This Was the Week That Was, a show I wish was still on the air, as Phyllis Newman. Thank you. Thank you, Bennett. And I would like to introduce that genial and very talented host of Candid Camera, Mr. Derwood Kirby. And next, that delightful lady, and delightfully talented, from the top of her head to the tip of her toes, Miss Arlene Francis. I am rarely in this favored Bennett Sir chair, but I am delighted that I have a chance once in a while to say how proud I am to be part of an association that has lasted 16 years, and a great deal of that pride is due to our moderator, Mr. John Charles Daly. Thank you very much, Miss Arlene. I consider that one of the nicest Christmas presents I get this year. Derwood and uh, Phyllis, we have uh, put some real thought in into this next half hour for you, and I trust you're going to enjoy every minute of it. Thank you. Uh, not too tricky, but here in spots you find out that we're playing little games. We'll have a famous mystery challenger before our friends on the panel a little bit later in the show, but right now, let's meet our first contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? Sister. Francis. Marie. Sister, would you tell us where you're from? New Lexington, Ohio. New Lexington, Ohio. Nice to have you with us. Sister, may I present our panel? And then, would you join me over here, please? And we'll let the audience at home and the audience in the theater know exactly what your line is. Panel, we can tell you that Sister is salaried and deals in a service. And we'll begin the general questioning with uh, Bennett Cerf. Sister, I'm not quite sure whether the service is connected with your church work or not. Uh, do you want to clarify that point for us? Well, we, we will, needless to say, recognize immediately that Sister is a member of a religious order. And uh, to that degree, any activity no, Bennett, I don't mean to be funny. And any activity in which she would be involved would have certainly the fact of the religious order as its base. Yes, sir. Well, do you come in contact, sister, with uh, people from the outside world? Yes, I do. Do you uh, visit them occasionally? You mean away from our Away, away from your... Uh... At times. Uh, do you ever leave the country in the performance of your service? No, I do not. That's one down and nine to go, Miss Newman. Our uh, sister, do you come in contact with children a great deal? I do, yeah. When you come in contact with these children, do you instruct them in any way? Yes, I do. Oh, <laughs> gee. When you instruct them, do you use music as part of your instruction or as part of what you do with these children? At times. You do? Um, are these children... Are there many children? Uh, are there more than 20 children who yes, avail sir. themselves of your service? Yes. And do they come to you? They do. And do they spend more than an hour with you? Yes, they do. Do, do you have to do in some way with a school? Yes. 
And is, am I to assume that what you do is something besides just teach Very general correct. subjects? Yes. And it does have to do with music. Well, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've admitted that music has, has a part to play. We didn't mean to stress it. Do you me. instruct them in anything that has to do with drama as well as music? Performing of any kind? Performance, yes. Performance. Does it have to do with an orchestra of some kind? No, it doesn't. That makes the two down a date to go. Derwood Kirby. Sister, um, in your instruction of these children and the music, uh, do you instruct them to sing in any way? No, I do not. That makes it three down and seven to go. Arlene. Sister Frances. I'm Miss Frances. How do you do, sister? Um, <laughs> I feel an empathy toward you, Sister Frances, and therefore I'm going to ask you if there's anything athletic about what you do. Not specifically myself. No, we would no? have to say no, uh, particularly in, in the terms of reference which Sister has drawn, insofar as it particularly re re uh, relates to her. All right, Bennett, that's four down and six to go. Sister, uh, do you ever have anything to do with the Christmas play that is performed by, by children in various churches? No. That's no, sing it all. Five down and five to go, Miss Newman. Sister, is your instruction and your work in any way therapeutic? Does it have anything to do with therapy? Mm, in, no. 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 It doesn't have that specific purpose. It could yeah. develop that this would be an end result, but this is not the uh, goal, immediate goal sought. Six down and four to go, Mr. Kirby. I'm going to give you one minute. I'm going to go far afield, uh, Sister, and ask this question. Uh, does your instruction to children have anything to do with languages? No, it does not. That makes it seven down and three to go, Miss Francis. Uh, sister, we have uh, said uh, mostly children. Is it mostly children that you deal with? Yes. It, it is. is. Uh, when you said there was nothing athletic in what you did, am I supposed to rule out dancing? That's correct. Um, do they come to you in a class rather than one at a time? Yes. Uh, uh, yes and no. I'm going to flip all the cards over because uh, I think you you've all are feeling for the relationship to a school that uh, Sister Frances has. And we will admit that she is the head of a school, but what we really would like to know from you is what, what kind of a school does Sister Frances have? It's, it is what not a religious school, school, obviously. Hmm? No. Is it, a religious it is a religious school. Yes. Conducted, religious. Conducted by religion. Conducted by religion. Something, something like St. Mary's? Is it or, or nurse college? Uh, but, but no, no, I was going to say for children of people that are going to the school. No, 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 <laughs> no. I, mean, I don't possible. think. I, you know, this She's is great not fun. the singing nun. I know that. <laughs> you mean a babysitter? Huh? <laughs> no, this is great fun. I don't know if you'd ever get it. Sister Frances is the directress of Saint Aloysius Military Academy. But I give you honors for getting close. It couldn't get all the way. Sister, it's, it's an honor to have you with us. And uh, my pleasure, Mr. Uh, I think we should say you asked about children in particular at St. Aloysius Military Academy. It's, well, it's through the eighth grade. Third it? through the eighth Third grade. Third through the eighth grade. grade. I think they're pretty athletic, sister. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They but, are, yes. But sister very wisely stays in office when they're doing things <laughs> like I that. I make right? an observation, John. Yes, sir. I think Sister Francis is the loveliest sister I've seen them a long time. Right. Here now. And if, uh, if memory serves me right, the Sisters of St. Francis have a century of great tradition in education, and uh, it's a proud thing for all of us to meet one who is carrying on that tradition, Sister. Thank you very much. Christmas, sister, from all of us. And now let's meet our next contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? Wilford? Schuster, right, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Schuster, where are you from? Pretty, Texas. Pretty, Texas. Right. Near... Well, it's southwest of uh, Fort Worth. Southwest, southwest of Fort Worth. That's pretty well located. Very near the center of the state. Very near the Yes, it must be if it's down that area. Well, may I 
present our panel, sir. Mr. Schuster, now will you come over here and uh, we'll let the audience at home and the audience in the theater know exactly what your line is. Panel, we can tell you that Mr. Schuster is self-employed and he deals in a product. And we will begin the general questioning with Arlene Francis. Mr. Schuster, is your product one that I might uh, have around? Yes. Is it a product that I might have around more specifically at this time of year? Yes. Is it associated, therefore, with Christmas? Yes. Very few products are in one way or another. <laughs> yes, of yeah. course. Yeah. Is it uh, part of the Christmas ceremony? By that I mean, uh, is it a decoration of some sort? Yes. Um, if I had this product and someone was near me, might I kiss them under it? Uh -huh. oh. Yes. Oh. I wish I had the product here so I could kiss you under it to make up for getting you so <laughs> Well, now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Schuster. I didn't say what the product was, John. We could go well, on. We Is all it holly? No. <laughs> garlic, right. Mr. Schuster sells garlic, but I didn't think you'd get it. <laughs> no, no, what am I saying? I'm all confused because Christmas is coming. Now, we tried to uh, pull a fast one on you, which we enjoy doing. We very rarely get away with it, Mr. Schuster. We didn't get away no, with it didn't. tonight. And we love to just run in what would be very right, reasonable, normal for that time. Yeah. And we get tripped up. Uh, actually, uh, Mr. Schuster is one of the biggest shippers, I guess. What, dealers? What do you call it? Uh, I consider myself a shipper, yes. A shipper, mistletoe, of 100,000 pounds. You can just imagine the amount of osculation that goes on in this country. <laughs> Does mistletoe grow quite profusely in your part of the country? Well, it's not a propagated crop. It grows naturally. Uh, uh -huh. it, uh, it grows in trees, doesn't it? Yes, yeah. sir. Actually, it has no roots. No, it's a, it's Just a, like kisses. It's a, <laughs> you know, it's, a, it's an odd thing, considering the tradition that mistletoe has out in the Napa Valley in California, you know, where, where I've spent some time, which I love so much. It's a parasitic pest out there. It gets into these wonderful old oaks and other trees we have, and it just chokes the, che the tree. Excuse me, is I it know. only once a year that you do any business? Yes, I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry it is. the rest of the year. That's right. <laughs> Sorry. He goes out and gets it. <laughs> well, I now sell smoke glasses for eclipses of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a long year. It's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Wow, we jolly day. But you do, you ship about 100,000 pounds of it? Yes, uh, and then we put up gift packages and mm -hmm. so ship it all over the country. You spend the year kind of getting ready for the big rush yes, at Christmas time. Yes, it takes time. all year to get ready. Well, it's kind of carrying coals to Newcastle when it's business like yours, but may I say from all of us, Merry Christmas and thanks for coming to join us. Thank you. Nice to have you. <laughs> Just so there'd be no doubt in anybody's mind, Mr. Schuster sells mistletoe. <laughs> and uh, we'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, this message. Now the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery challenger, for which, as everybody knows, the panel is always blindfolded. Are the blindfolds all in place, panel? Yes, sir. All set. Good. Will you enter, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? panel, we now go to the other form of questioning, one question at a time in turn, moving clockwise, and we will begin with uh, Phyllis Newman. Gee, what a response. <laughs> uh, I have to ask you this question. Are you a French sex symbol? <laughs> no. Oh. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Kirby. Are you in show business? Yes. Miss Francis. Are you at the present time appearing on Broadway? Yes. Mr. Sir. Uh, are you appearing in a rather new comedy? Yes. Miss Newman. Do you have the huskiest voice and one of the prettiest ladies in the world? 
Is, is the comedy... Oh, you, you're too shy to answer that. Is the comedy... Uh, in the title of the comedy, does it have something to do with a flower and a prickly thing? Together Did now. Did I say it? Yes. Let well, it go I, around a little I, bit more. Okay. <laughs> Keep her on a while. Are you Lauren Bacall? Yes. Oh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> the whisper didn't help. Oh, I tried. That you did you indeed. Talk. Anyway, we've been waiting for you ever since the show opened. <laughs> <laughs> flower with the prickly thing, cactus flower. Yes. And Even her whisper is husky. <laughs> Even her whisper. Is it? I'm sorry. Uh, yes. A wee bit. May, uh, but you know, congratulations are in order. It's um, Yes, thank you, John. It's a I'm great, very happy about greatly it. received by critics and public, and that's not been happening too often lately here no, in I'm our sorry city to say of New I'm York. Happy. It's Aren't you supposed to be a plain-looking girl in the first part of this play, and how do you manage that? Now, Arlene, <laughs> one of my oldest and dearest friends... I've never seen you look it's anything a... but ravishing. I don't know how, how you... How do you manage it? Well, I manage to look plain and unravishing, is all I can tell you. <laughs> I do manage it quite easily, actually. Well, it must be great fun. We have... Uh, not it's as... marvelous. We have Abe, Abe Burroughs comes once in a while to sit on our panel. And, oh, uh, oh, oh, God, he's marvelous. He, he just bubbles, Betty, bubbles good humor. Betty, don't you think you ought to say something about Jason's show, too? Let's get that in, too. What's the name the of the devils. show? He's the Devils. Why, Bennett. The Devils, yes. We should mention Jason Robards. Mrs., Mrs. Jason Robards, Jr. will now tell you about her husband's. I, I will tell you about my husband's show, but I'm not through with mine. <laughs> <laughs> Go. I don't want to be a ham, but I am one. And I'm stuck with it. No, Jason is appearing um, in The Devils at the Broadway Theater, and I'm in The Cactus Flower at the Royale. And it's, it's a fascinating show business story, because he hasn't seen my play, and I haven't seen his. <laughs> is this because of any superstition or anything? Or no. Just, you just can't do it no, because you're... No, I was in rehearsal when he was... I started rehearsing when he was finishing his rehearsal. And I finished rehearsal when he was out of town. And then when he came back, I went out of town. And you have the same Which playing times. I think times. it's a very curious yeah. arrangement, don't you? And then you have the same playing times now, so that there's no chance. I mean, you don't have your matinees no, no. in a different day. No, no. Wednesday day. matinee. Well, we'll Saturday send a delegation matinee. over from the panel, and we'll give you a written report. Will you? On the demo. <laughs> the we'll baby it. working? No, not Plans? yet. Not yet. He was <laughs> doing the frug all afternoon, though, so he's trying. At Arthur? Yes, at Arthur. Good for yes, him. He was. Well. Nice of you to come and give us a Sunday night, because that's the only free one you have. Yes, John. But and, I would uh, be happy to do it. I will do it for you, and all of you, and, and for Abe, and for David, yeah. and for the whole cast of the Cactus Flower. And from all of our gang, Merry Christmas, and thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. Same to you. Nice to have you Congratulate you, panel. We haven't been able to fool you very much tonight. We'll have a, another contestant after this work. All right, now let's uh, meet our final contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? Marvin Turban, right, right. there. Mr. Turbin, where are you from? Originally from Chelsea, Massachusetts, and now from Manhattan. Chelsea's right outside of Boston. Right. Been through it many times. So have I. Nice to have a New Englander, even if you're transplanted. Nice Thank to have you, a New sir. Englander down here. And, Mr. Turbin, may I present our panel? Now, will you join me over here, and we'll uh, let the panel uh, guess around for a while, but we'll tell the audience at home and the audience in the theater exactly what your line is. Panel, we can tell you that Mr. Turban is salaried, and he deals in a service. And we will begin the general questioning with uh, Derwood Kirby. Now, uh, Mr. Turban, that's perfectly all right. Drop <laughs> the other foot. Just dropped his turban. Yes. <laughs> the tree fell down. You deal in a service. Yes, sir. Now, um, is this uh, a service that uh, is extended to men? Yes. 
Can women also avail themselves of this service? If they want to. Must they come to you for this service? Usually. Usually. Do you perform this service indoors? Yes. Do you wear any kind of a uniform or costume? I do. Do you have to have special training in your service? Uh, I'm assuming here, Derwood, you're asking this question in the, the normal term of reference we use, a training of a special character and depth to be yes. able to perform. On that basis, I think we have to give you a no. That'd be one down and nine to go, Miss Francis. Uh, is it possible that you ever touch the people you come in contact with? I could. Uh, do you instruct them in anything? Occasionally I do, but that's not the primary purpose of my job. Whatever they do, they can do on their own, but you are there. I am. That'd make a wonderful title for a, a <laughs> radio program. You are there. A television program, too. Are they, too, uh, wearing something other than their ordinary dress when they are being no, helped by you? No, ma'am. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Turban, can they come to you at any time of the year for this service? Not usually. That's uh, three down and seven to go, Miss Newman. Do you travel around and do your service in what, more than one place? Not in the strict context in which I'm here tonight, no. No. That's four down and six to go, Mr. Kirby. Did I understand correctly that his service is, is not a seasonal service? Or is, so the question is, hasn't been asked in that specific term. Is your service a seasonal service? It is. Mm -hmm. Let's be candid about um, this. <laughs> no in-camera uh, proceedings. Would, uh, would your service have anything to do with the Christmas season? It would. Jeez. Other than the winter season or anything like that. No, I'm not going for that. With the Christmas season. Now, uh, do you train people to do a specific thing? No. That makes it five down and five to go, Miss Francis. Do you wear a gorgeous red costume and a white beard and dawdle children on your knee? I do. <laughs> <laughs> so, Arlene, you guessed that he's a fireman, right? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> an old fireman. The youngest of the firemen. The youngest yeah. of the firemen? There isn't an older Santa Claus. There isn't a younger Santa Claus than you, I'm sure. Santa. I haven't met him yet. I haven't met him. Santa Claus. But he's a very good, he, he's a very good Santa Claus in a very good position to even further refine his talents in that field because he's at Macy's and the youngsters must come streaming by you by the thousands. The thousands. Screaming by him. Screaming. <laughs> I mean, screaming. Pardon Yesterday me. Yesterday we had almost 4,000 children that came oh, in. Today. Isn't that wonderful? How do you feel about and children? There's a course over at Gimbel's who's looking for you. You better look out. He's an imposter. <laughs> he's an imposter. <laughs> he's an imposter. <laughs> Besides, what is it? Macy's never tells Gimbel, Santa Claus, and vice versa, right? That's right. Absolutely. Could we hear the kind of ho, ho, ho you give? Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I think it, we really did kind of slip you on, because probably you should have announced that this was an avocation, because Mr. Turban teaches Latin and English all the through Columbia the rest of the Grammar School up the, on the west side. On the west side. So there when we are. a child asks you for something, do you, do you say that they're going to get it, or how do you deal with that? I say if they've been good, they have a possibility of getting it. Well, that's good thinking. Mm -hmm. Or he answers them in Latin. Good. Sometimes I direct, <laughs> I direct their parents down to the toy department and let it go with that. <laughs> Nicely done. And may we, sir, say to Santa Claus, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you all, too. <laughs> Phyllis, to have you here so that I can say to you, old friends, with Bennett and Arlene at the same time, Merry Christmas and good night, Mr. Surf. And Merry Christmas to everybody all over the country, and to you, Phyllis, particularly. Thank you, Bennett. Good night. Merry Christmas to my family and friends, to Derwood. Thank you. Good night, Phyllis. Merry Christmas, everyone. Holiday greetings to you, my dear. Thank the you, best. Derwood. The best to everybody here and to all of you out there. Happy, happy Christmas. Night, John. Good night, and thanks for being with us on What's My Line? What's My Line is a CBS Television Network production in association with Mark Goodson and Bill Cox. This is Johnny Olsen speaking.